Hello! This video shows how to install and use the Flickrocket Magento plugin. With the Flickrocket Magento plugin, you can use Magento to sell DRM protected digital content such as video, ebooks, PDF, audio, software, HTML5 apps, and more. To get started, all you need is a basic Magento install. To get the plugin, you need to log in to Magento Connect and navigate to the Flickrocket plugin page. If you are not signed in, you need to sign in with your Magento Connect credentials now. Then click on Install Now, agree to the license agreement and click on Get Extension Key. Now click on Select Key and copy it to the clipboard, for example by using Ctrl C. You will need it when installing the plugin in Magento. Now we are done in Magento Connect and open up the admin login to the Magento store. Now we log in as administrator. After logging in, we go to System Magento Connect Magento Connect Manager. And log in again. Then we paste the extension key in the field under Install New Extensions and click Install. The extension is now listed for installation and we click Proceed to let Magento perform the actual installation. After clicking Refresh, the plugin is listed as being installed. Now we leave the Magento Connect Manager and return to the regular admin interface. After this, we open the System Configuration menu. And here we navigate to the Fleet Rocket section. The email address and password fields are already pre-filled with the FlickRocket Sandbox account login data. For this demo, we can leave them as they are, but for real use, you need to enter user login data or a FlickRocket account you control. It is best practice to set up a user account which has only the sales management right for this. This way, even if the Magento account gets compromised, your FlickRocket core system is still safe. The theme setting defines the design of the elements which FlickRocket provides. This is primarily the access page for digital content which is displayed to customers after a purchase, but also the design of the password reset request validation email originating from the player. Themes can be freely designed inside the FlickRocket admin interface. For our demo here, we'll use a standard Magento theme. Last but not least, we have the environment setting, which can be set to sandbox or live. As the name implies, you would keep it to sandbox while testing and switch to live for a production environment. Please note that everything you do in the sandbox is reset frequently, usually all 24 hours. You can use it to test, but you must not assume that your previous settings will be kept permanently. You can use the sandbox with your real FlickRocket credentials and everything you do in the live environment is synced over to the sandbox environment. However, this may take up to 24 hours. For our sample here, we leave it set to sandbox. The next step is to set up digital products based on FlickRocket. To do this, we need to select the catalog manage products function. And now we need to click Add Product. To set up a digital DRM control product, we need to select the product type, Downloadable Product. 
and the attribute set FlickRocket product and click continue. Now the product is set up like any other. We put the price to zero, so we don't have to deal with payment systems here. Once you are done, open the Fleet Rocket Attribute section to make the Fleet Rocket specific settings. The product dropdown contains a list of all products belonging to your Fleet Rocket account. Select the one which you want to offer through Magento. In our case, these are the sample products available for the Sandbox account. The license dropdown contains a list of all licenses defined for your Fleet Rocket account. Select the one you want to offer through this product in Magento. If you want to define additional licenses, you can do so in the Fleet Rocket admin interface. In our case here, there is a third dropdown called Video Resolution. It is only displayed for video content. If you have your HD video or collections containing HD videos, it allows you to select if this product refers to the high definition or to the standard definition version. Last but not least, you can use the product wizard or the respective Windows Mac OS X desktop tools to create new products or modify existing products within Fleet Rocket, including uploading the data for processing. Now, the last settings we need to do are within the downloadable information section. Click Add New Row and enter values for the new row. Very important is a hash for the file URL. Without this, the product will not show up in the shop. The sample URL is optional. If you have uploaded a trailer to FlickRocket or if FlickRocket has generated a trailer for you, you could enter it here. However, in our case here, we will not offer a trailer. When you are done, click Save. If you want to create products which offer the customers multiple license options to select from, you need to create different products with the individual licenses. After this, you can create a bundle product or a configurable product combining these. Now everything is ready to go and we'll open the shop. This Magento store is brand new installed and has no start page configured. And so no products are displayed. However, we can search for the new product. The product shows up. We select it and we add it to the card. Once added to the card, we proceed to checkout. Because the content is accessed via authorized access with email and password, each purchase of digital content must be attributed to an account. Even if guest checkout is activated for Magento, the FlickRocket plugin will enforce account creation or usage if at least one digital product is in the shopping cart. For this demo, we will register a new account.
no payment is required. And we continue and place the order. When complete, we select My Downloadable Products. If at least one digital item was ordered, the My Downloadable Products page shows instructions how to download and install Flux Player or the customized player of the shop. So now we download Flux Player. We install. And we run it. Normally, if FluxPlay is installed and runs for the first time after an order, it shows the login information and the email address is already pre populated. However, in case of our sandbox sample here, this is not the case because FluxPlayer does not know about the sandbox and checks with the live environment instead. And obviously, there is no order in the live environment. So, to change this, we need to look at the version information at FluxPlayer and click eight times on the version number. The following dialog comes up in which you can select the sandbox environment. And now that FluxPlayer is configured to use the sandbox environment, we can log in with the email and password we used for the order. And here is the order. We can now play back the film. If you do this and you later switch to the live environment, make sure to switch back Flux Player that it also points to the live environment. This here is only for testing. And that's it. You have seen how to install the Flick Rocket Magento plugin, how to configure DRM protected digital products, how the order works, and how the content is consumed. If you would like to do this yourself, you can apply for a free basic account at Flickrocket today.